Hey guys, Gabrielle here, product expert at Air Compressors Direct, coming at you with another Q&A video. Today we're going to be discussing the types of dryers that we carry and the importance of them. Um, basically with dryers, they are used to remove moisture from compressed air that is traveling through the unit uh, with air dryers. They're actually recommended in most, if not all, compressed air applications. It prevents damage to uh, the pneumatic tools you're using, machinery, and ultimately your end product. <clears throat> so let's jump in and discuss the type of refrigerated air dryers that we carry. Um, one, we do carry non-cycling air dryers. These dryers will run uh, continuously whether air is actually coming through them or not. With these units, they do have a lot lower um, upfront cost with them, but possibly over time you might see um, it's a little bit more costly to run because again, once you turn it on, it's, it's constantly running. Uh, next would be a cycling air dryer. Uh, this type of air dryer actually turns on and off depending on the demand of air that's actually coming through the unit itself. Uh, they do have a higher upfront cost, uh, easy to install. Uh, Non-cycling dryers are also easy to install. Uh, they have a 115 volt plug on the back of them. Uh, cycling dryers though are a little bit smaller in footprint and they're a lot, a lot quieter. Um, for the simple fact that they're not always running, but in general, refrigerated air dryers are going to have about a, the same sound level as a mini refrigerator, so that light humming noise. Um, lastly, for refrigerated air dryers, we do carry high temperature dryers, and what those are, they are still non-cycling dryers, so again, once you turn it on, it's going to constantly run, but they are engineered to handle a lot higher temperatures coming out of the compressor. So they are usually paired with reciprocating air compressors. Reciprocating air compressors tend to generate a heck of a lot more heat um, than let's say a rotary or a scroll for instance. Um, so again, if you're placing that dryer closest to your air compressor, um, once air is called into demand, that hot temperature that's coming out of the air compressor and flowing into the dryer isn't going to damage any of those components. Hence, again, a high temperature dryer. Next, we do carry desiccant dryers. Um, what desiccant dryers are, they have specific canisters throughout the system. Um, it might be one, it might be multiple. Uh, they have desiccant beads within those canisters which absorb water vapor in the airstream. So if you've ever bought, you know, a brand new pair of shoes, um, or if you've had beef jerky in your lifetime, uh, they're gonna have like, those little white packages that are in there. They have a desk and bead in there. And what that's doing, it's preventing moisture from building up in uh, the box or the packaging. Um, with desiccant dryers, they do have a higher upfront cost, but they can achieve a lot lower dew points without freezing. So great applications for them. Um, I know they're great for painting, fantastic. No one wants moisture in their paint projects. Also, if you have an application where um, an ice making factory, for sure, you don't want any freezing water in your compressed air lines, a desk and dryer would definitely be the way to go for you then. Um, but if you wanna know more about dryers in general, Go on our uh, website, aircompressorsdirect.com, click on our how-to library that's going to be on the right-hand side there, and you can search our how-to library. Just simply type in dryers. You do get a few different articles that will help you when deciding which one will be best for your application. But the main one I like is the Air Dryer Buyer's Guide. <clears throat> if you click on that, it goes into a little bit more detail in regards to the different type of dryers that we do carry. Um, if you are ready to purchase and you know which one you want, go under air treatment. We have our air dryers. Um, when sizing one, it all goes back to CFM. CFM is key within an entire compressed air system. If you're still feeling a little stuck though, please feel free to give us a call. We're happy to help you. Um, also again, on our website, you know, you can submit a Q&A, which we will respond in that way too. We appreciate you stopping by as always and thanks for watching.